Okay, welcome back to our playthrough of the Through the Ashes DLC of Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, if you saw the last episode, you pretty much know where we are. We're about to take this elevator down. Now, I found out that I just need to level up my animal companion. And that's why our animal companion was only have one hit point. So they said okay like this it just shows up down here the interface i don't know how anyone could support the interface because it's like who would see that well if i can understand why post haste but like without knowing it so without knowing it was there it was i can understand like i, I couldn't find it so we have to level up our animal companion this time instead of them just normally leveling up so do they get experience on their own that's the question Unlike normal animals of its kind, an animal companions hit dice ability skills and feet. Well, if this is closer to like base game, we could like uh, choose different stuff. So we can make our Smilodon an aggressor. Companions with the most vicious nature are often called aggressors. Class skills, athletics, mobility, perception, and stealth. 42 reflex, low on the wheel. Removed by the archetype, so we're not getting evasion but we get our base attack bonus and then we have bully bigger than others of its kind a bully is used to winning fights so let's go with aggressor if we go with aggressor it's going to get the multi-attack bleeding strike it loses the improved evasion and all that stuff and our base attack bonus is all right uh if we go with bully we get trip we get bull rush keep evasion we don't get devotion so we don't get the bonus to will saves we don't get multi-attack but we get bullying thrill bigger than others of his kind a bully is used to winning fights and displays of dominance for his choice of mates territory and then we have the bull companions with the sturdiest skin who can endure incredible amounts of suffering are called bulwarks Armor for proficiency, your animal companion becomes proficient when light barding. Uh, we're going to give it mage armor, so I don't see the point in giving that. Ooh, against damage reduction 2, period, bro. It increases by 1, so they just take. That would be good, and they get devotion. And then armor proficiency, medium bar barding. And then it gets this base attack bonuses, 11 plus 6 plus 1. We don't get multi-attack. Attacks with natural only take minus 2 penalty. So instead of multi-attack, we're losing that. And then we have Daredevil. We we'll join the fray with graceful leaps or swooping dives, heedless of the danger. Artful Acrobat. Combat mobility. Loses multi-attack. I think that's lame. Death touched. Whether the result of a partially successful attempt at revival, a strange blight, or repeated exposure to undead, death touch companions are living animals with a trace of undead. Why would I pick that? I don't want to pick that. Get one foot in the grave. Gets plus four morale bonus to four or two safe. No. And then we have Racer. Some companions have uncanny speed, providing their masters with swift transport. So it gets fast movement, evasion, fast movement loses devotion so loses the stuff for that so it doesn't it loses its uh bonus to will saves to get fast movement but they're already fast i don't see the point in that record like on really pets some companions have a tendency to destroy nearby objects while unsupervised so they get the sunder armor to uh, but i'm not gonna waste my attack i'd rather just attack in destructive record when Wrecker's natural attacks ignore an inanimate object's damage reduction, I don't see the point in doing that. So the, what I see is either get the bulwark for more defense, you lose evasion, but oh, and you lose multi-attack for the defense. Or you get, instead of bully, you just get aggressor. Well, get, a bu get bully. No, you lose that too. Aggressor. Which one does, okay, we keep multi-attack, we lose devotion, and we lose evasion, but we get bleeding strike. An aggressive first attack in every round, if it hits, takes the enemy's bleed for 1d6 damage, or we get the bully, that's going to make it trip. To, 
Oh, it's not a greater trip ability. Bullying thrill. Nah. I'd rather keep multi attack. That's too good. So we're gonna get the aggressor and just have it attack. Uh maybe for our next animal campaign we'll try it because we don't have any like armor to give it right now anyway, except mage armor. So later on, if we make it to like level four, we'll probably get the other one. Uh and then I don't think if it can make checks, of course we're gonna get perception, obviously. Uh do we need stealth? Let's go with athletics, that would be cool. Okay, now it gets a feat. Uh we're gonna focus on strength, so we don't need to get weapon finesse. Uh we could give it power attack, possibly, or we could give it dodge so it could survive more. I'll wait until later on before giving it power attack because skills oh it does have precision. But it's not a class skill. Because that would be g good since we could give it probably the corner again smash and all that stuff. So we'll probably go power attack and see what. It but just to start off with, we're going to give it. I want to give it something so it could do more damage. It already has a lot of attack, so it's uh, already going to survive. I kind of want to give it toughness just so it can survive longer but we'll go with dodge uh next oh and we can even name our animal companion okay uh we're gonna do rename because through the ashes we don't particularly care about these so that naming part and the customization of our animal companion uh is good Armor class 21, flat footed 16. Now it has 6 hit points. Oh, uh, it's still weak. 6 hit points is not enough. We can go with toughness. Nah, we get toughness later. Okay, so now it's at 6 hit points. So now it's good. Now it's an actual character. It shows up right here. Okay, so we can just use the elevator now. And I will save it because we just finish that so i like that little addition that they made uh let me turn the, oh this is this is the swarm oh i hate the swarm oh. uh let me use alchemist fire equip that and equip the acid flask uh in this version we did not sell anything because there's nothing worth buying right now oh i was supposed to do the alchemist fire uh i don't think she would actually be able to hit like her attack that's minus two dexterity 14 uh i don't trust her ability to hit in fact i'm going to just have her move out the way Okay, let's go. Oh, do they not have mage armor active? I need I need to get her. This is not going to do any damage. But he can't do anything else either. Probably I can move this way. Great. Okay, so Rain Rain has some decent decks. Equip, equip. Do some acid flood. Ah, oh, you can't be missing like that. Move out the way. Recarth Alchemist Fire. Should have did that one first. Okay. So, first I'm going to move over here because I don't like seeing them through. Ah, oh, spider. Uh, I'll move up to the front. It's a level 3 enemy. 
think I missed. And that's the benefit of it. What the? What the? What the? We made a mistake. We didn't. There's two of them? That's crazy. We're already starting off bad. Calming touch. Uh, let's play Grease. Okay, one of them fail, which is actually going to be useful. Now, what is he using? Fists? Yeah, he used a dagger. That's probably why he got... Okay. Okay, just keep on hitting. Aw, oh, man. Let's rage. Good. Calming touch. Nah, I'm just going to channel positive energy. I might be able to... Oh. You're not a threat. You're an obstacle. Good. Oh my gosh, not again. Let's uh calming touch. Mage armor. I should have cast mage armor on all of them anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna get up and get a free and let him get a free attack. Who did they buy it? Oh, the animal companion. Seeing damage. That's good. Channel piles of energy. It's only one. Two damage. Come on. You can't be missing, bro. You know I hate it when they miss. Come on. One damage, that's not enough. One damage, pathetic. Uh, what's it, How much damage are they doing? Bite plus four. Uh, 1d6 plus three damage. Uh, of course he hit. We got our sneak attack off. Good. Good. Okay, so let's get mage armor on you. Mage armor on you. Mage armor on the Smilodon. Calming touch. Calming touch. I'm probably going to have to heal as well. Because being at level 1 playing on core is ridiculously... I'm not going that way. You need to take a, have a mobility check. Uh, who has the mob? Most likely him. Okay, good. Spider, spider, spiders. Why did they see me? Am I ever going to be able to get out of this place? There's enemies everywhere. I just want to, I would just want to escape this place. Uh, 
Oh, there's a spider right there. What the? I'm trying to figure out. No, misclick. No. Oh, and I need to get him. You st stupid. Uh, it's time to bless everyone. Bless needs to last longer. Attack five times. Come on. You don't need to do more damage than that. Come on. Nine damage isn't enough. Sneak attack. What? I did seven, then nine, and it's still not dead? Channel positive energy. Ah. Uh. Minus two strength. Rage, die. Now I have to fight three of these things. Now sneak attack, I'm doing only two. That's crazy. What we need to do is burning hands, these guys. Calming touch. I do need to kill that, but I was going to get a free attack on me if I do that. Uh, at least I get, got a lot of channel positive energy. Oh. I'm still going to try to I'm still going to try to kill him. Luckily, I still have the bl Blood Rager, but I don't like that there's... So, okay, that's a decent amount of damage. If only I could... Okay, control. Ah, oh, you got hit, bro. That is extremely annoying. Channel positive energy again. Because it's just the best thing to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to rest after this. If my cantrips were better, I would be good. I'm not going to just let them get a free attack. Okay, now we only have to kill one. Andrea. I'm just trying to kill Rain. I do need a calming touch. Uh, calming touch on Rain. Okay. And that steel wasn't enough to save him. Right. I'm not going to let him get a free attack. That's unacceptable. Range down. Channel positive energy. That's all. One. Come on, hit more. I need a little bit more damage than that. How are you missing touch attacks? 
Come on, we're cars. Divine's out. That's probably what we're going to have to do. Just keep on divines up. Okay, plus one dicks. Can they move? Lower nature, take the acid. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Rekarth. Take the elevator. And then we're going to have to rest. This is crazy. Uh, but since we have some time. Okay. We don't have to sneak us anymore. We can just run. It makes absolutely no. Uh, let me make sure I save it. Since we did fight those things. Why aren't we leveled up yet fighting all those enemies? I know things are going to get like exponentially easier whenever we get to. Luckily we have a camp and a safe place of waiting. But I know things are going to get exponentially easier after we. Uh, hopefully these poisons because the poison isn't permanent. By resting or with the help of lesser restoration. So we're just going to have to rest until all the all of these are gone. Because I don't even know what demon corruption does. But this will be good for. I hope the uh, intro to the main game isn't like this. Because that will be crazy. But yeah. I hope, I hope not. I hope like we can potion or recipe or we can get scrolls scribed but i'm just gonna have to rest rest for a recommended period use healing spells and abilities before resting i don't know what these are but it says recommended period two days is that gonna get rid of all of our negative status effects that's probably why they kept the camp here because it's it's literally makes Ah, it's a cavern. I guess spiders are allowed here. But why would they put this? Impact of corruption weakened. Chance of attack on cap is lowered. Continue. Okay. That's still not good enough. Like, look at that. Strength. His strength has been r reduced to 15. That's... And filth fever. Onset 1d3 days, two consecutive saves. This doesn't even make sense. We're going to have to rest again. 9, 9. I don't even know what level of corruption does. Rest for recommended period. What does this do? Rest for recommended period. Begin resting. Again. Ramir, you're a big, strong guy. How did these freaks manage to take you down? It doesn't. Ha he didn't have a weapon. So what if I'm big and strong? I'm no fighter. I'm gentle as a lamb. And besides, it was five against one. I didn't stand a chance. Duh, makes sense. We don't need this little talk bar. But yeah, I hope the main, uh, the main game. Ah, oh, and of course they would do this. I didn't even know they would come like this. That's crazy. Friday Lundstoden? I didn't even know this was possible. What the? F literal. I, I do not want to fight these things. They're very annoying. Of course. Barb. That was easy. This has been Mir. Of course he got hit. Getting up. It's 
Sneak attack. Calming touch. Good. Yaryoko. Reduced. Good. You can't be missing, bro. Critical hit. As long as she, at least she has a lot of. At least she has a lot of hit points. Why is there fire and cold? What the? Because we're gonna have to use Asus Flash. Definitely no fighter. Continue our rest. Impact of corruption weakened. Chance of attack on camp is lower because they already attacked me. Whatever. So I'm just gonna have to live with these penalties. Absolute stupidity. Is this another? My thoughts of this, so far it's all right. In terms of like story mechanics and everything, uh, set up, it's all right. Uh, it's actually enjoyable as far as the fact of the setup and the design and making it so annoying. It's not all right. But now we have to get past this spider swarm. Like that part, like design wise, it could be like better. It's like, come on now. It's a starting area. Why would you have multiple swarms? That's probably because they're telling us uh, that we need to actually sneak and we're not supposed to fight everything. So if that's the point, then they did well with that. They really have made us understand that we are nothing. Absolutely nothing. They did a great job in doing that. Impossible. Uh, Lord check. A you need something to carry the acid in, of course. Uh, Lord nature. Oh, Dry bones are all that remains. Ah, uh, death on eight legs. That's level 11. We can't kill that thing. That's ridiculous. Loot. So we can't go that way. So we have to go back. Death on eight lids. Vani and his party could take that thing on. So we're not supposed to go that way. Because there's no way for us to kill it. So what we need to do is use the acid flask over here. Terrain type. What's the point? What are we doing? Re re the last chapter complete to the quest will we'll fill afterward. Scapees have left the theater full of zealous cultists behind. Get out of the catacombs. The darkness of the underground chambers could have offered respite from the horrors of the demon invasion. Only that same darkness were not home to countless horrors. Sitting at out the slaughter below ground is not an option. They must seek out a route back to the surface. Reach the Defender's Heart Cavern. Exit stage left. Find a way out of the theater. Find a set of tools. Enlist the big man to break down the door to the auditorium. That's already completed. So we're going this way. We can't fight that. That's... I understand. I understand. We're not allowed. We're not. Al we have to act right. So now we have to go this way, and f we have to go this way. Fight a swarm. Uh, 
I think uh, I think it sees us. See, this is why I wanted some time to add at the alchemist class. Uh, cause this will be my. This is why we need burn some like burning ants. Uh, I'm actually gonna. Please don't tell me it's another one. No, okay. At least it's a. Which one is he? Okay, Yayoko. Ray Frost. Energy damage should do the job. Okay. You do have an alchemist flask. But I do have the burning hands. One damage is not going to be enough. Twip. Twip. Uh, I'm not moving. Uh, I'm not gonna stay in the swarm. How are you missing, bro? How did you miss, you stupid? All you have to do is sw that doesn't even make sense. If you all you have to do is splash it on the ground, how how could you miss? Like that's a, that's like a no miss type of situation. Calming touch. We chose the we chose a good domain. Now we just gotta fight this thing. Bless. Oh, compl I completely forgot. Okay, that's fine. We still have some time for bliss, so that's fine. Uh, divine's up. Okay. Rage. How you gonna miss? Uh, I'm gonna let our Smilodon get in first. Good. Calming touch. Well, he is taking penalties from that poison, so I guess that's the only reason. Ayoko. I know why she's missing. Five attack. That's why we need. That's why we need the Smilodon. That's like. What are what other party is going to do it? Death on eight legs. Do they really think we, we'll be able to fight a death on eight legs? They try put a t level 11. It's not like we're going to come back here. I think whoever put that was all like, yeah, we could just make a creature. You're, you're, you're not special. You're, you're still weak. Don't think you're special. You're survivors. You're running for your life. Level one trash. That's what they're really saying. Okay, this might be better. Centipedes. This m uh, might be the better thing to fight. Ah, oh, there's one over here too. Uh, can I move? Let's bite this. Uh. 
Okay, I can hit this one. Right. Three damage, good. Divine Zap. Good. Rain. Still not enough damage. And the Blood Rager's better. Okay, the last hit. That's what we needed. I'm going to save after every fight because y'all know. Y'all been keeping up. The old masonry is holding well. A brilliant example of Mendevian architecture. Ah, uh, useless. What's over here? More stuff we came across than we couldn't target last time. Oh, s this thing just dry shoulder. Yeah, keep on. What the? Why does it have 42? Oh, at least we can see the hit points now. That's nice. That's nice. So yeah, we need to. We need to enter rage. No one cares. Your job is to do damage. Uh, he can fall. We need to divide. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That is very annoying. Rage. Eight damage. Missing is not good. Oh, I need a. Did not put it. You'll be fine. Calming touch on rain. Cause I still don't want him to die. It's not gonna be enough. And I can't. That literally does nothing. I'm curious of why it's. It's taking damage, but when is our nauseated gonna end? One more turn. Good. Now what I could have done What is this a rusty dagger? Useless Okay Open the door Get the loot A short sword Martial proficiency, finesse wielding. We do it my way. Uh, I want to save. Could I want to get out this place? I need to find. Uh, oh yeah, we just went through this. We need to go through this door. Outside, I'm not going to do that again. Let's see what's in here. It did auto save. Alchemist kit one, this could allow you to create potions of level one spells. Ooh. I don't know what that did. What terrible smell. I think we should steer clear of this water. Clear the water away. Do what I must. 
What is this? A cloak? Our first magical items. Cloak of resistance plus one. Ah, uh, we leveled up finally. Wand of Cure Light Wounds. Just what we needed. Now we can take on that level 11 creature, right? Psych. Psych. I'm leveling it up right now. You lost your mind if I'm not uh, leveling up. Blood Rager. Leveled up. Need that Arcana so we can go to Dragon Disciple. Persuasion. Uh, use Magic Device. Uncanny dodge, we'll go with it complete. Stick with the rogue. Pure rogues are actually good. Get them on, uh, get them with two, two weapon fighting, and we'll be good. We can give him use magic device, but we're gonna get perception. Definitely get trickery. Could get knowledge world, but get them a, get them with stealth. Knowledge world can wait. One point and use mag. Oh, he doesn't need use mag right now. Rogue talent. We can give him weapon focus. The question is, does he have proficiency in martial weapons? Or point skill. If the target already has class skill weapon proficiency or arm proficiency, he got short bow and long bow, so he can use those things. Weapon finesse. Two daggers would work. Precise shot. I could just give him weapon focused dagger. And that's probably what I'm going to give him. So that way he can actually hit. Rapier, short sword. Why? That's the question. Because I don't think he. If he can use a short sword, I'll, use, I'll give him a short sword. 19 to 20 times 2. This does 1d6, 2 to 5 damage when equipped, 2 to 7 damage, finesse wielding. Uh, take off the dagger, get the short sword, and do a weapon focus short sword. That's probably that's probably a good option as well. I give him a longbow too. Or I can do two weapon fighting. That's also an option. Uh, just to work on that. Uh, mobility, all this stuff. Knowledge, world, perception. Could be definitely perception. Uh, let's see. Focusing attack, focus, focusing attack, shaking, jump up. Provoke when standing up. A rogue with this talent does not provoke attacks to opportunity. Oh, that's good. That's something. That's something. But I want to do stuff. I can get combat track. Get a bonus combat feat. Or I can just get weapon focus. Prerequisite for penetrating strike. Dazzling display. Shattered defenses. Greater weapon. Weapon specialization. So let's weapon focus short sword. Okay. That way you can definitely hit this. Magic Sword Saint. Next. Uh, most likely Arcana. Definitely use Magic Device. Okay, so he can focus on Knowledge World. Uh, I don't want to spend points of athletics. Use Magic Device is good. We'll play with Perception. Just so I can get that ability now I can choose a spell I can choose two spells uh, none of these spells I particularly need magic weapon probably for one minute per level shocking brass for electric damage and now I can go here he can open Spell book. So now, now we have burning hands. Yeah, shield on the last a minute per level. But I can heal, so I want him to do damage. So we get magic weapon, and then our cleric. Our cleric is a cleric is pretty simple. Get the religion. Get the knowledge. Nature. 
Those are the only things she needs to worry about. Religion, knowledge, nature. It's her purpose in life. Complete. Spell book. We got bless. Got to bless up here. Uh, I can take this bless out. Because I don't see any. Because we can change it for a heal spell if we need it. Really need it to. Uh, none of these spells look good. Haze of Dreams is new. But I'd rather just heal. Uh, magic Vein for our animal companion. Bl bless for right there. So that's good. And now Sylvan Sorcerer. Always, that's just going to be max leveled out. What's her level in? Trickery? Because does she need to use Magic Device? I should have put at least a little bit more points in Intelligence. Next, do we even need to put points and stuff? Points in athletics, points in perception. Right. Complete. So now, now it has 11 hit points. Now we're, now we have a little bit more survivability. Why didn't I see that? Because it's dark, that's probably why. Good. Now we can leave this place. Having left the enraged cultists behind, the daring group of escapees plunged deeper and deeper into the sewage canals under Canapers. Passages as vile and as twisted as the plans of any demons. The cultists yelling faded giving way to deep growling coming from somewhere in the fetid darkness some unknown predator was prowling around never approaching but constantly dogging the group's steps the winding tunnel then came to a fork the main route was blocked by a vast cesspool a whole underground lake of filth untold dangers could be lurking in the darkness of the older and narrower passages that branched off in all directions from the lake the path onward was unclear what was the greater danger, haste or delay? Which way should they go? What should they do? After a brief discussion, the safeties decided to send someone to scout out a safe path through the old tunnels, try to get across the cesspool, take a breather and post a vigilant lookout who would alert the others. No, flee into the old tunnels without delay. Send someone to scout out a safe, yes. Someone needed to venture forth to explore the tunnels, so they decided to send whomever volunteered, but since no one did, the Dallas healthy healthy i'm not gonna let either of them escape has decided to take it, try to get across the cesspool i'm not gonna send any of them the role of scout who will be the first to enter the cesspool's future the role of scout who will be the first to enter the cesspool's putrid contents was given to take on oh so I have to choose one of them who will like the others with the beast go into the whole tunnels without delay with no precise route the scabies spent many hours wandering into the dark tunnels their strength waning before they felt dry land on their feet and the scabies were but it but a step away from leaving the fetish to which the creature that had been prowling in the darkness finally attempted a desperate attack. It emerged with a disgusting sloshing sound and lunged at the group. After a short but hard-fought battle, the monster opted to flee, leaving its victims covered in horrible burn that slowly turned their skin a sickly gray. The damp sewers gave way to dry and narrow caves. The escapees had no idea the maze under Canabers was so vast, deep, and horrible. Exhausted, they sat down on the rocks, fighting off hunger and fear. The escapees discussed their situation and decided to continue their journey. Because where are you going to find food at? Continue their journey. Jim Coros and Ricard wasted no time scattered out a safe tunnel. Yeah, the right people. I don't know why they didn't give us these options to begin with. 
The escapees continued on their way. Rakov led the group through a narrow carway that looked like it must have appeared quite recently. It may have been caused by the earthquake unleashed by the wicked scythe of the locust lord, Discari. Having crawled out of the caves, the escapees found themselves in a narrow tunnel paved with stone slabs. There were alcoves all over the walls with names etched above each one. These catacombs were part of the one of the burial sites where crusaders had been interred for many years. Deathly cold pierced the escapees' skin as a rippling ghostly figure emerged from around the corner and wailing immediately went out of sight again. Each member of the group could sense the danger hanging in the air. The escapees drew their weapons. Ready to defend themselves, the scabies decide to tend to the dr No, they can't fight them without mis magical weapons. Press on bravely in the hopes of seeing the sun again. Search the graves for anything useful. The sacrilegious but wholly necessary task, chaotic, was entrusted to Fra. Uh, let's have Bamir do it since she's unwell. Gold coins, dagger, pearl, rice, potion of inflict light room. Benmir shrugged and started opening graves with surprising equanimity and a lack of respect for the dead. Breaking one slab after another, he calmly dragged out anything valuable, not paying any mind to a cut above his brow caused by a stray shard of stone. It may have been folly, the wound seemingly a trifle soon became inflamed and Benmir lost all, all sight in his left eye. That can be healed. Scapies decided to... Press on bravely in the hopes of seeing the sun again. The escapees continued onward and were excited to see the gloomy corridors were slowly getting brighter. Surface was near. A sudden howl from behind them knocked them off their feet. The enraged ghost, whose remains had been denied a proper burial, was chasing after the group. His fierce crescendo seemed to drink in the escapees' life energy. Having savored their suffering to the fullest, the ghosts retreated, leaving the survivors shaking on the floor in painful convulsions. Dark spots appeared on their skin and burning dark affliction settled in their lungs, parting gifts from the dead man. Something cracked under one of the escapee's feet. One of the slabs sank, triggering a trap designed to repel grave robbers. Dozens of sharp darts flew out of inconspicuous holes in the wall, and the burial site was splattered with blood. But nothing could stop the escapees at this point. They could already see a spot of light beyond the metal bars of a door at the end of the tunnel. They rushed forward without a second thought. Was any of that stuff necessary? Did any of that stuff necessary? Whoever wrote this was all like, okay, we're making a game about demons invading. We're going to make this like the most dangerous situation ever. Where's my milestone? Was that a level up? Don't give up. Give up now and you're as good as dead, right? Wonderful. Even more survivors. I'll save you as well. There's no need to fear. Who in the world is this injury guy? The escapees have broken free from the underground, but it's too soon to celebrate. Of course. Bamir, Brody, Frada. What are we fighting? Rodden Skeleton Walker. I can use my Grease spell, maybe. Two damage, good. Sindri. What is he, a wizard? I bet they gave us a, re a wizard. Yeah, a true seeker. That's not a... Cat a good gnome. What is his class? Oh, a sorcerer? I thought seekers were wizards. So they did give us a sorcerer. Good. Combat casting. Seekers trap finding. They give us a trash sorcerer, but a sorcerer nonetheless. Uh, what do we have? Mage armor and grease. What else? And we have snowball. This is going to do absolutely nothing against this. Uh... So yeah, let's go for a grease spell. Good. I probably should have waited. Attack. 
Devon Zap. That's it, Splash. Where's he have? Crossbow? That's not going to do enough damage. Magic Missile. Oh, we could have did more. Keep him on the ground. Good. Uh, of course. We should be. His grease is strong. I guess I'll keep on. I'll just. I'll just divine zap. And acid splash. While they're on the ground. Since they're just going to stay there. Uh, I don't trust this thing's dexterity. It'll be yeah. Luckily, I have ranged attacks. How did they build him? Dex 12? Not gonna do anything right here. Oh, this is Jim. Divine Zap. I don't like the fact that they're missing. Uh, I don't need rain, don't need new attack. Good. So now we just gotta kill this other one. They're essentially useless. But they only do piercing damage anyway, so it's not like okay. He's level two. He's not gonna be able to do anything important. Uh, let me move right here so I don't have to worry about grease. Her car. I'm gonna move over here since I, that way I don't have to worry about grease. I'll just keep on the vine zapping it until it's the enemies did. Oh, three damage. Good. Uh, okay, not gonna check. Why is it? Oh, it's a zombie. Damage reduction five except slashing. Okay, luckily I got the short sword. I like his voice. Saved you, dolt. Take care with this one. A friendly idiot can be more dangerous than an enemy. Hold on, I'm not. Yes, everything's in such turmoil right now. You can't even trust me. I get it. I get it. In that case, I swear on my <laughs> on the sublime Desna who bears the name of the Song of the Spear and on my magnificent. That I will protect you from the monsters and lead you to a 
a safe place, wherever that may be. I don't have time for your nonsense, so sure get out of my way. Quit your babbling now. Who are you? Great. Yep, he is a grave digger here, or something like that. If he can't fight, he's useless. We're playing the hero option. If there's a chance to save them, we'll go. Uh, we go to save them. I'm surprised that they just said good evil, good evil, not the traditional alignment. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut till you're told otherwise. What scroll are you talking? You can cure almost any affliction. They're very rare and therefore extremely valuable. I'm no thief, but since it's for a good cause, I think we can borrow it from our dear departed wizard. Are you wonder what happened to your eye? I never heard of that. Concocting a tale like that would be easy for a gnome, but Sindri seems relatively sincere, and yet you remain convinced that many parts of that story were embellished and others left out entirely. What are you talking about? Duh. It's on the far side of the cemetery. There's a wizard interred in it. A scholar I greatly admire. He was a master of many things. And he was a collector of magical objects, too. And the library he had, ooh, it was an ogre myth. <laughs> Get it? As big as an ogre. Ooh, except ogres are stupid and libraries are smart. A heroic sorcerer is nothing but a common thief, and one with a lousy sense of humor to boot. Hold your horns there, my morose young man. You're looking at everything in the worst possible light. If you like, I can give you a pink crystal to look at the world through. That'll put a smile on your face. I was only looking for one book. The esteemed wizard took it to his grave, literally. 
The thought of stealing never even crossed my mind. I left everything exactly where it was. The potions, the scrolls, the jewels, everything. I read, I learned some useful information, and I left. That's it. You were in a tomb full of magical objects and scrolls, and you didn't take a thing? How have you survived this long? All right, I'll get the skull and help the grave digger. Really? You'll do it? Oh, praise the gods! Believe me, sir, I'll find a way to repay you, and I'll help however I can. I knew you'd come to the right decision. Let's go. Time to get out of this graveyard. And remember, the crypt containing the scroll is all by the gate. Your allies has fallen is now in disease stage one. During your adventures, your allies may contract dangerous diseases that weaken them. Each time you rest, all diseases will progress to the next stage. The disease might also worsen when the character encounters various obstacles and trials. The ski skill has four five stages which are reflected in the character's appearance. Stage zero, your ally is perfectly healthy and their conditions does not deteriorate with time. Stage one, the ch character is infected and various negative factors can cause their condition to worsen. At stages two and three, your ally feels ill and some of the activities they could could previously perform are no longer available to them. Stage three signifies a critical condition that requires urgent healing. A character in a disease stage 3 is too weak to stand for long and they will try to lie down whenever they can at stage 4 the character dies. Crazy. I do need a heal. Where is this? And this misspell. Good. Okay. Andrea, uh, calming touch, calming touch, good, okay, so he said it was by the gate, I don't know exactly what gate he was referring to, that's making camp, which we're not going to just make camp, he said it was by a gate, I don't know which gate he's referring to. Stop, can you smell it? There's a thong of cadavers right ahead. That's too many. That's too many for us to fight. Until we get to level 3. If we can get to level 3. Oh, this is good enough. Oh, man, I was gonna. Oh, this is my fault. Load game. That was out there. Okay, let's fight. We'll fight these. And then. Sentry. Uh, 10 damage. That's a. L no. Do I have another weapon? Because this is not gonna work. It could work if we do another enough damage. I just don't like the fact that. What the? Divine. Oh, you can't be missing like that. Fighting undead and all these other. Okay, great. Slashing damage work. Oh, no. No. Calming touch.
skeletal archer. Good. Oh, another skeleton. Calming touch. Good. Rain attack. Oh, they're both skeletons. Three damage. Nice. We could attack this one. Good. Sindri shuffles his feet, nervously glancing at the temple below. Did you see that? You did see that, right? Did you? You can't just leave a person in danger. No, we cannot. The temple is old. The doors are going to crack and collapse. We must rescue the poor woman. I say I'm not getting paid to rescue every person who crosses my path. Her car's voice is cold and calm. Fortunately for you, we can't avoid this fight either way. Do you see a path that will take us past this temple and the throng of cadavers shuffling around in front of it? Because I don't. Oh well, this is just wonderful. It means we'll ha be able to help that person and advance our cause at the same time. Everybody is happy. No difficult moral dilemmas. If only things were always this simple, I swear on my cufflinks. Oh yeah, if only. It's my dearest wish to not be able to take a step without running into yet another bunch of idiots that urgently need rescuing from a throng of disgusting monsters hungering for my flesh. Good. Sindri is right. What's the point of our mission if it doesn't help the people around us? Ricard is right. We cannot save everyone unless we get distracted by other people's problems. The better the odds of us completing our mission. Evil. Are you sure we can't sneak past the dead while they're busy devouring their victims? What's the point in arguing about what might happen? Let's concentrate on the cards we have been dealt. Yes. Good point. At least this we agree on. Collect. Can't touch that one. Can't that one. There was something else here for our options. Uh, that might get us into another fight that I don't want to get into right now. Oh, that's a gelatinous cube. And I'd rather go over there. But before we get into that super crazy battle, I'm going to save. I'm not going to delete that. Save over here. And then we'll continue this on the next episode. Thanks for watching.